Okay, I'm back with some more backpack battles. It's been a while since I've made a new video, but here we are again. New patch notes right after Christmas, or, or is this on Christmas? I don't know. Let's see. We wish you all a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Okay. New item. Present. Unique items. Yeah, these unique items are like super hard to get. I have not even seen the new heat unique item. It's super hard to find. New unique item. Gingerbread Jerry. New character outfit. Okay. The odds of finding uniques are increased, especially for the new ones. That's good to know. Balanced. Here's here are the balance changes. Let's see here. All attack speed is now additive. This makes speed from multiple sources like gloves plus heat escalate less. But it is mostly for clarity. Let me think about this. All attack speed, huh? I wonder what they mean by attack speed. Do they mean trigger rate? For example, if I have the Falcon Blade, which I believe it's a 30% increase, or how should I put it? 30% faster trigger rate. That's the way I should put it. That's the way you should state it. 30% faster trigger rate on the Falcon Blade. Do they consider that to be attack speed? They probably do, and that's prob- I don't know, well, I'll have to test it out. But now that it's additive, that, that's going to make things a lot clearer. You no longer have to pull out a calculator to get the calculations. Good to know. Rework the topaz. That's the one that gave attack speed. The yellow one. Topaz on the armor now gives stun resistance instead. It used to give stamina regeneration. Okay. Rework the emerald. That's the poison one now it gives poison resistance instead how do i feel about that i kind of like it i mean yeah if you're putting it on the if you're putting gemstones on the armor you expect them to make you more tankier you don't expect them to apply damage back to the opponent i like that change a lot the armor the topaz change I mean, stun resistance. There's only two sources of stun that I see in the entire game. The hammer, which is absolutely horrible. I made a video about that. Don't go hammer, it's bad. And the pumpkin. I think that those are the only two sources of stun in the game. So I don't really see the topaz on the armor being a huge value pick. Potion belt. Cleanse three to four. I don't. I think that it goes off when you have two potions in the potion belt emptied. It's a. Or is that four potions in the potion belt? I don't know. I've not played with the new potion belt too much. It's a buff. It needed it. It's kind of a lot weaker than it was previously. Let's see. Torch stamina cost increased from 0 0.7 to 1.0. Okay, that's a huge, huge nerf. Yeah, that's a huge nerf. Because. You cannot really sustain that much stamina usage that early on in the game. 0 0.7 stamina usage. That's the same thing as a wooden sword. So you could sustain two of them early on, which a lot of lineups were going for. And they were doing pretty good. Now that it's 1.0, it's going to be a lot harder to sustain that much stamina usage that early on. I think we're going to be seeing a lot less torch early on in the game because of this change. Damage increase chance from 30% to 25%. I never thought the damage increase chance was even that good, in my opinion. It went off so infrequently. It would go off like 3 to 4 times in a fight at most. It's a nerf, but I, I, I don't think it was that important before. Anyways, burning torch. Stamina cost. Okay, stamina cost went up in the burning torch as well. The heat you gain at the start of the fight was decreased from 3 to 2. So now it's the same thing as the dragon. The ruby whelp. Damage increased chance. 20, went down with 5% chance as well. I, I don't think that was such a huge nerf. But it's a nerf. But It's a nerf. Burning coal weapon. 15 Chance 15%. Damage 5. Okay. 
they brought it down to 12% chance and they increased the damage by 1. I think that's a nerf. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do the math. I think that is a nerf though. Burning co inventory activation delay from three seconds to five seconds. What did you get from the having the burning co in your inventory? I forgot. Uh anyways, it's three seconds to five seconds. Wow, like in the early rounds you're gonna be dead by five seconds though. So. Goobert, heal from eleven to ten. How do I feel about that? The Gubert was a, a very good value item early on. Especially if you were going for the torches, which had such a low stamina cost. And a very low trigger rate, low cooldown. I guess they're just nerfing the torch builds. Because I thought the Gubert was in a pretty good place before. Ruby Chunk, that's the dragon for the Reaper. I've never made that, but when I did it, the lineups that I did face that had that item inside their backpacks were completely crushing me. I think that shit was fucking OP, and I'm glad they nerfed it. Oh, the Ruby Chunk actually gives stun, actually stuns people as well. That's a new item that I have, that I did not list before. Okay. Wooden Buckler Stamina Cost, Stamina Drain, went down by 0.1. I like that change. The Wooden Bucklers and the Spike Shield were such a good value item. They did way too much for what they, for what you had to pay. I, I like that change. Shield of Valor, I have not seen anybody going for Shield of Valor these last few games. Stamina Drain went down by 0.3 and the damage reduction increased from 10 to 12. I think that's a buff, in my opinion. Actually, no. 1.0 stamina drain to 0.7. Wow, they nerfed the shit out of that. That's a nerf, definitely. I like the damage reduction, though. It's a shield. It's supposed to reduce damage, right? I like it. It's a very thematic change. I like it. Curse dagger. I don't even know what that does. I'm going to skip it. Hammer. Max damage plus two. They keep buffing the hammer, but you, you need like three bananas to sustain the hammer. It's it's impossible. And well, especially if you're playing the ranger. I, I don't know about hammer with the reaper. I have not tried that. But hammer with the ranger, it just feels so horrible. You have to get the hammer. You have to get three bananas. You have to, or like a flute or something, something to get your stamina up. And then you have to get the daggers. Which is just so incredibly rare. Like it, it's hard to even get running. Get it off the ground and start the engine. It's hard to do. Maybe hammer max damage plus two. is That's that's a buff but is it even worth? It doesn't fix the problems that I just listed right? It's doing more damage but it's way too much stamina. Hard to get off the run. Hard to get it off the ground like I said. Dark Saber. I don't even know, know what that does. Skip it. Impractically large greatsword. I like the item. I like where it was at. I just had not been rolling it. There's just so many new items in the game. I have not been rolling for the greatsword. I have not been getting in the getting it in the shop. But if I did get it, I might have picked it up. Anyways, it's a buff. Empowered threshold went down by one. Mana thirst damage plus one. Okay, and a bunch of other fixes here. You can now filter by buffs and debuffs. You can filter or you can group items by price. Alright, let's get into the game then. A uh, nice little ranked game from on the ranger. Let's go. Banana on sale for two. I think I'll take that. Thank you very much. What am I trying to go for in this build? Let's see here. I don't think I'm going to go for the torches. I don't think I'm going to go for the torches. How's the poison ivy? What does the poison ivy do? It doesn't even show up here. Uh-uh. Does not even... Oh, right here. Class items. Nope. Shop items? Oh, can I, can I just search for it? 
Poison Ivy. Oh, here we go. Uh, let's see here. How did they nerf this? It's still inflicting two poison on each spike that you gain. But once the opponent reaches 19, they take 20% damage. I think it used to be 30% or was it 25%? They nerfed that, that aspect of it. Oh, I don't like this. Look, look at how my state on the search box here, it stays on. It doesn't get reset once I close this page. I don't like that. They should change that. Let's see here. So what was I going for? Hmm. Spike build? Shovels. Hmm. Shovels are just so awkward to make. No, don't go for the shovels. They cost a lot of stamina. They take up three spaces. And they're kind of shit. I wouldn't mind the walrus tusk. Hero sword? Hero longsword? Falcon blade? What am I going for here? Spikes? Let's check out those unique items that just came in. Gingerbread Jerry. Start of battle. Gain 40 maximum health. Every 4 seconds, use one of each of these. Clover, heat, and a mana. Gain 1 empowerment, 2 regen, and 20 maximum health. Okay, so it's easy for me as a ranger to pick, get clovers and get mana. Getting heat though. How are you going to be generating heat? Present. Shop entered. Instead of gold, you receive items with a higher value. That seems really bad. Because you need gold in the game to purchase items. Start of battle gain five ran random buffs. That's pretty good. Instead of gold, you receive items with a higher value. Hopefully you get them for free, because otherwise, how am I going to buy them? That's pretty funny. Uh, let's see here. Let's reset this. Can I reset this somehow? No, I cannot. What was I looking for? Oh, uh, yeah, I was looking for something that generates heat. The burning coal does generate heat, right? 12% chance to generate one heat. What else generates heat? Ask the ranger. Can I search for heat? Oh, here's a new filter here. I can for search for stuff that does generate heat. This thing has a chance to generate heat. This thing gives me heat. It doesn't generate heat. It just gives me heat. This thing also just gives me heat. So the only thing in the ranger capable of generating heat is burning coal. Wait a minute. Isn't there also a... Gem that does that, right? Yeah, the this thing... The flawed topaz, it does it. They they messed up then. When I clicked on this filter, it didn't show me the flawed topaz. That's a mistake by them. It's so unlikely to go off though. What's the perfect topaz? What's the cooldown on that? Three and a half seconds. That's good to know. I think I'm going for the spike build. I can I, I I can't go for the pig. Just I feel like I'm gonna get crushed if I go for the pig. Let's go ahead and reserve both of those, and we see. Let's see how we do. I do have a banana. He doesn't. No, oh, I'm just dead. That's fine. That's fine. I was expecting to die. Hmm, I could go for the claw. Claws of attack. 
it wouldn't be horrible. 3 to 5 damage, great stamina usage. 0 0.3 stamina usage per second. That's absolutely beautiful. Stamina cost 0 0.5, that's great. Wait a minute, didn't they say that attack speed is now additive? Let me pull out my calculator. Let's see here. The wooden sword had a cooldown of 1.4 seconds. 1.4. If I buff it with a gloves of haste, that's going to be 1.4 times... Uh, what is it? Is it 1.4 times? No, it's 1.4 over 1.20. So the new Q cooldown is 1.16 seconds. Let's say that it was also next to a Falcon Blade. So that's another division, right? 1.30? I think that's how it works. So the cooldown would be 0 0.9 seconds previously. Now that it, it is added, that was multiplicatively. Now that it's additive, it's way faster at 0 0.56 seconds. I'm just going to pick up the Gloves of Haste to test this out. Should I go for a Claws of Attack? I don't think I will be going for the Claws of Attack. Do I want these? Kind of want this. But I think I'll go for the reroll. Okay. Oh, this is a great. Oh, this guy has no. Oh, he has one sword, yeah. You know, kind of a mistake. I should have put the banana to be buffed by the gloves of hate. I don't think it's going to... Oh, yeah, that might be the deciding factor, actually. Mistake by me. Mistake by me. I'll be the first one to admit it, though. Let's go ahead and pick up that buckler. Yeah, I'm going to go for the Thorn Whip. Wow, that's such an early Thorn Whip. That's insane. Can I even play it? I could play it. No, wait a minute. I don't think I have the space for it at the moment. So I'm not going to play it this round, but I will be holding on to it. And I will be reserving it. I think I'll be able to play it next round once I sell the stone and the wooden sword. Possibly the whetstone as well. We'll see. Oh, please tell me this is a win. Please tell me that I need a win, baby. I need a win. Oh, looking like a loss. Damn. You cannot take rounds off people if you only have a wooden sword, man. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Right there, right there, right there. Right here. You know, I'm thinking... Not there. I'm thinking right here. Right here. And right here.
Is there a way for me to get the gloves of haste on both the thorn whip and the banana and have them both be inside the fanny pack? That's the question I'm asking myself right now. Oh, yes, there is right here. Perfect. Excellent. My stamina usage is super low right now. But my backpack is super ugly. Super, super ugly. I could push this, yeah, I could push that to the left by one space. I think I will be going for the poison ivy this game. Excellent. I'm in a great spot. I'm happy with okay. what I've got. Oh, this guy's got the new outfit. Looks very cute. I like it. Huh. What's the uh, accuracy of the thorn whip? It's kind of low, huh? 80% by default. It only goes up to 90 with two lux. Good to know. Let's get another wooden buckler up and running. Look, the change that they made to the potion belt, the buff that they added was only four when four potions inside are consumed. One more cleanse. Do I want to go for potions this game? Possibly just the stone skin potions would be pretty good. So I think I'll reserve that. Should I just pick this up now? I think I should just pick this up now. And let's get a new item going on here. Next round. Oh, I think I'll be taking this fight. I think I'll be taking this fight. He does have a health potion going, but I've got eight spikes, man. If I don't take this fight, like, what's going on? There we go. Hungry Blade, hmm. No, this thing just converts region, which is so hard to get. I think I'd rather stick with the Thorn Whip and just go for the Poison Ivy. Oh, but if I'm going for the Poison Ivy, then I need some way of starting to generate my... Clovers. How do we generate clovers? Blueberries and... Actually, just blueberries. So I want to make some blueberry. I want to get some uh, food going. Blueberries, carrots, uh, onions. So I want onions. Screw it. Throw some onions in there too, man. I'll pick up one more banana. Hmm... One more banana, huh? Nah, I, I think I'm think I'm good without the banana. In fact, I think I'm good without the acorn collar as well. Mm -hmm. 
I just need some type of sustainability. Something to keep me going while I continue scaling with my thorn whip. And both of my bucklers. There's the carrot. It's even on sale. Thank you very much. I'll take that. Let's see. Should I go for a lucky picky? Is there anything I want to point the lucky picky at? A spike shield would not be bad. Yeah, I think I think I will be going for that. What do I want now? I guess just space, really. That's all I want. Ooh, I forgot about the flute. This thing can also generate clovers for me. I'll be going for that then. The question now is, do I want to combine the Gloves of Haste with the Walrus Tusk to make the claw? Possibly start generating some more empowerment for me. I am getting a lot of spikes. The only problem with that is that I would be more susceptible to dying when I'm facing against spike builders. I have no life steal. If I get a little bit of life steal, the claw would be really good for me though. It also helps me against people that make the or people that buy this item here. They remove spikes. Right now I'm only scaling with spikes. If they start removing my spikes, I'm no longer scaling. But I will be scaling with the empowerment gained from the Claws of Attack. That's going to help me a little bit against that. What else? The, uh, yeah, my stamina cost will be going up. But it's such a low stamina cost. It's not something I should even worry about. I think I'll combine it next round, not this round. So I don't think I'll be going for the wooden buckler. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. I think I'll go for the wooden buckler. I need some space though. That's a little bit of space. Expense, expensive space, but it, it is space. And do I want this one? Lucky Clover. I don't think I do. Uh, I think I do. For the Poison Ivy. It's for the Poison Ivy. This guy's got what I got. He's got a little bit of life steal though. I got more thorns. Nice. Poison Ivy it is. Another Thorn Whip, Jesus. I think I could sustain, I think I might be able to sustain it. If I had some more bananas and flutes. <laughs> Another thorn whip, huh? Oh, 
I think I'll stick with what I had got. Uh, let's combine these. Let's go ahead and combine those. I would go for the thorn whip, but I just need space right now. I would. Oh, another pig. Another pig. I would. I want that pig. Oh, the corrupted crystal would be so good right now. I'm inflicting a lot of debuffs. I'm getting a lot of spikes. It's gonna be. It's gonna help my sustainability. Do I want that on the armor, or do I want it on the thorn whip? I'll put it on the armor for now, and we'll see how it goes. I might change it up. Okay. Probably better to have it on the thorn whip. Don't combine that. Do not combine that. That was a mistake I made last time. I don't think I'll be making that mistake again. Or do I want to be making that mistake? Is it even a mistake? Reduce damage by 25%. First, it's the exact same thing as the cap. Actually, the cap is only 3 seconds. This one's 5 seconds. Opponent gains buff. 15% chance to nullify it. Your opponent's healing is reduced by 30%. This one just straight up reduces critical hit and stun chance. I think this one's better for me. Uh, I think I'll be going for the two flutes as well. I just need space to hold both of them. You know, I could sell both of these things here. I might keep the carrot, but I think I'll sell the banana. Once I get the flutes up running, I don't think I need the banana anymore. Let's get a hammer going. Funny. Yeah, the hammer's just no good, man. No good. A little bit of space here, please. A little bit of space. I think this might be worth oh I think this might be worth it. We'll see how it goes. Get rid of the banana, like I said. Oh, actually, let me check out the attack speed on the Thorn Whip. They said that they the trigger rates, or the they the they said exactly. Attack speed is now additive. Attack speed buffs are now now additive. All attack speed is now additive. 
Fanny Pack does not say anything about attack speed, it says trigger rate. The Gloves of Haste also say trigger rate. So let's take a look at what the Thorn Whip new cooldown it would be with all the buffs that it has. So right now it has a 2.4 second cooldown. That is attack, one attack every 2.4 seconds. If I have it inside three fanny packs and it's pointed at with the Gloves of Haste. I should, I should uh, flip that around actually. And it's pointed at by the Gloves of Haste. That should be a 50% trig faster trigger rate. 50% faster trigger rate. So it's just straight up 2.4 over 1.50. So the new trigger rate would be 1.6. Trigger rate here being the same thing as cooldown. That is if it is additive, right? If that, that's if it's additive. Yeah, I think that's right. Let's see what the Thorn Whoops cooldown actually is. 1.6, right? Yeah, 1.6. It says 1.6. I guess it is additive. Okay, let's see here. What do I need? Impractically large greatsword. It's on sale. I've got nothing that builds stam. Uh, what is this? Empowerment. I've got nothing that builds in spam empowerment. So I don't think I will be going for that. I don't think I'll be going for that either. The pineapple. Now that is a good item for me. An item that I think I will be going for, in fact. Lump of coal, do I want this inside my backpack? Not really, kind of expensive, I don't want that. But I'm happy with that. Let's give it a shot. Let's see how these flutes are doing. They are giving me clovers. You know, very surprising that I got up to this high of poison when I have the poison ivy going. Oh, it's kind of a shit poison ivy, that's why. I've got to make sure to buff that up a bit. How much damage did the thorn whip do? Like, I, I, was, I thought for sure I was going to lose this fight. 117. 100 for my poison. Okay. Let's try to buff the poison ivy up a bit. I can move it over here. What about that? Uh, that? It's not bad. That's a lot better. A lot better than what it was. I think I'm going to remove one fanny pack off of the Thorn Whip. 
put it in make sure both of my both my pineapple and my carrot get faster cooldown lower trigger rate faster trigger rate I should say this pig's up oh I could point this pig over here that'll be pretty good I like that The only thing I'm missing now is mana regen mana generation. Yeah, mana generation. That would make the lamp really good. I think I'll move the corrupted crystal to the armor now. I think I need a little bit of more a little bit more tank ability. Uh, I would go for that if I had the space. It's got three stars up here, two stars up here, three stars here. It's got four stars here. Don't I have a potion belt? Yes, I do. I want any of this think about it the health potion would be useful against other poison builders it wouldn't be bad it would help trigger a stone skin potion as well I'll go for that another pineapple in fact, another Gloves of Haste. Well, I'll definitely reserve the pineapple, that's for sure. Another Gloves of Haste would not be bad either. Something like that wouldn't be horrible. Let me just think about this. If I picked up the other pineapple, where would I want to put it? Probably down here. If I put it down there, where would I want to put this gloves of haste? Maybe the, uh, maybe I would put it up here, like this. I 
Not really sure. Maybe I don't want it at all. I'll take all these next round. Oh, I should have played the, the carrot here. That was a mistake. I think I'll be good, though. Look how much armor the corrupted crystal is giving me. Damn, I just took no damage whatsoever. That's insane. I guess he, I guess he was trying to poison me, huh? That's good. That's insane that both of his, two of his poison daggers dealt zero damage to me. I guess they got blocked by the spike shields. And because I have a pretty good poison ivy, I must have resisted a lot of the poison that he applied to me. Damn, man, that guy just got fucked over, man. Get another pineapple, get another corrupted crystal. Play the carrot that I forgot to play last round. A ruby egg, would that fit well into my build? It would give me two heat. A, it's a ranged item, so it's not gonna be susceptible to spike builds. Gives me a little bit of defense by reflecting two debuffs. It's kind of expensive. I'd rather just pick up more pineapples, more blueberries, more carrots. Oh, this is exactly what I was talking about. This guy is fucking me over by removing all my spikes. Thankfully for me, I don't need the spikes to kill him. I can have a, I have a bunch of poison. What the, the most damage here? The poison, actually. Yeah, I applied a whole bunch of poison to him. Both of my corrupted crystals went off. Five times each. That's 60 armor that I gained in total. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35. Yeah, 35, yeah. That's five sets of seven times six. That's 30 armor per crypt per crystal. Did he remove any of my poison? Uh, he has nothing nothing to remove poison actually. Oh, there's a blueberry. I needed that. I think I'll put it like right here. Nah, I don't think I'll put it there. Five stars there. Five stars here, but not inside the fanny pack. Actually, I could make it five stars here. But I can put the blueberry inside the fanny pack there. So it's actually six stars here. And the blueberry buffs the pineapple. Unfortunately, it does not buff the poison ivy. I 
I want a couple more blueberries. That's what I want. Then I can start picking up lamps. And I could get a super buff thorn whip going. Excellent. These two items here are going to be very good for me. Do I want to roll for anything else? Blueberries, like I said. I think I'll save my money for now. Interesting builds that I'm going up against here. Oh man, all those daggers, dude. All those daggers against all these spikes? Not good for you, man. That's I, I feel I feel for this guy. I feel for this guy. He's trying to make the hammer work. But in order for the hammer to work, you gotta go for the daggers. Oh, but that's so many melee weapons. The, the thing that destroys you is spikes. You gotta have so much to make the hammer work with the daggers. It's just it's rough, man. It's rough. It's rough. potion belt here. I can now have two potions inside being consumed times two. So I get two random buffs. This is kind of, um, is this a waste to put both of these piggies pointing at one spike shield? 35% chance times 1.25 for a total of 43.75% chance. Or 8.75% chance increase. Percentage chance increase to prevent four damage and remove some stamina. This is just another 25%. Is that additive? I, I swear to God, I did this math before. Is it going to be a total of 52.5% chance to prevent damage and remove some stamina? Because I had two piggies pointing at it. Is that how it works? Is it additive? I think it's not, right? I, th I, th I don't think it is. I think it's... Multiplicative. If it's multiplicative, that's even better, actually. If it's multiplicative, it's going to be 35 times 1.25 times 1.25 for a total of 54% chance. 54.5% chance. If it's additive, it's 35 times 1.50 for a total of 52 and a half. We're going to find out which one it is right now. Some blueberries, some blueberries, please.
Okay. 54 and a half if it's multiplicative. 52 and a half if it's additive. It's additive. Okay. Good to know. This guy's doing damage directly to my health. That was a pretty good fight for both of us. This guy's super tanky. How is he removing all of my poison? Ah, the carrot goobert. Of course. The good old carrot goobert. He's got a mana thirst going here, giving him mana. Is he spending it though? No, he's not spending it. The only thing spending it is the lamp here. But he had no way of gaining armor. So the lamp just did not go off. Yeah, that's that's his mistake here. No armor for him. Pretty good build though. Solid, solid build. It'll beat a lot of builds out there. Not good against mine though. Not removing my spikes. Yeah, he's just not removing my spikes. Not removing my clovers. Not. Oh yeah, just did not have a good enough damage against me. What helped me tank so much was the Corrupted Crystal that I had though. Those were really good against him. Yeah, so the lucky piggies, because they're additive, it doesn't actually matter whether I point it at one shield or split it up between two shields. It's going to be the same thing. I believe it's going to be the same thing. I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same thing. I don't think I gain a advantage by having it pointed at separate shields. Blueberry right here. Excellent. The only thing I'm missing now is a couple of blueberries. A blueberry here, a blueberry here, a couple, a couple more blueberries here. I'll be really good. I'll be really happy with what I, what I have. Oh, solid fight for me. This guy doesn't, have, doesn't stand the chance actually. Damn, that jinx from him really removed all of my clovers. That's insane. Really good jinx from him. Solid. Solid. Now they're corrupted crystal. I think I'll be, I'll be taking that. Solid item for me. A little bit of life still here would be pretty great. Pretty great for me. The lamp. I would go for it. 
but I have no mana generation, unfortunately. Okay. But thankfully, I don't need it. Hmm, this is gonna be a tough fight here. Very tough fight. Damn. Really close fight. I wonder what gave me the edge. Probably the corrupted crystals that I had. Right here, yeah. Wow, it's insane to me that the Thorn Whip dealt 400 damage. His Blood Thorns only dealt 175. 105 to 175. What's the cooldown on that blood thorn? 1.6 seconds versus 1.6 seconds. Same on the thorn whip. I guess maybe I crit and he didn't? Yeah, he has no crit whatsoever. That's that's what's wrong with his build here. I straight up dealt 100 damage. 100 damage crit right here at the end. He dealt no crit whatsoever the whole fight. Another 100 damage crit right here. 70 damage crit. 44 damage crit. Yeah. 50 damage crit. That's what gave me... 25 damage crit. That's what gave me the edge. That was a lot of crit. Does he have a helmet? He has no helmet. Wow, that's a big mistake by him. Very, very big mistake by him. No crit. No helmet. Does he even have the ranger backpack? Is what I want to ask. I think I see it right there. Uh, wait a minute. I think he missed. I think he sold it, right? I don't. I don't. Uh, I'm not seeing it. Oh, it's right here. It's right here. Yeah, he has it. But he's not putting it to use, unfortunately, for him. Well, that's too bad for him. A mana orb, would that be good for me? It'll help me generate mana. That'll help the lamp trigger. Uh, I want it, but it's the end of the game, so. Even if I win or lose, this is the last round. I'll probably win it, though. Let's see what we got. A bunch of stone skin potions. I don't think it's going to be enough for you, my friend. I don't think it's going to be enough. Death is a poison. Yep. Solid. Solid round, man. Spike is just, spike builds are just so good. They're so easy to get up and running. Very cheap to get up and running too. I didn't waste so much time going for hero swords, cross blades, falcon blades. No wet stones for me. Just a straight up thorn whip. Just a straight up thorn whip and some food. Wow. How did I get the heat? Oh, it must have been from the backpack. I mean the potion belt. Yeah. Anyway, solid game. Good game. Go for spikes. They're really good. Good game.